Hello sweet loves! Welcome to the full moon in Aquarius horoscope video. Um, yes, sorry I'm late. Uh, the full moon actually happened yesterday. <laughs> um, but I just really did want to come forward and get a message to you. I did do the written horoscopes already and they're awesome. I had so much fun with those so I'll have the link down below. But um, one thing that is kind of really happening to us which is why I wanted to talk and reach the people who only really go video is that this has been a really big kind of detoxing gateway opening and I talked about it on a podcast a couple weeks ago um, that this was coming that this was happening that it was you know in order to kind of align us and really um, get us in this certain kind of vibration in order to be able to move through the gateway that's going to be taking us to new levels of expression of life and like I said it has everything to do with all the work you've been doing it has everything to do with how you have been dealing with the provocation that has been coming up in your life it has everything to do with how everything how you dealt with everything that came at you that may have caused you to want to attack or to get revenge or to um, get even or to uh, react to somebody in a vicious way because you're hurt um, and all of us have kind of been kind of checked on that stuff to see if we could just kind of learn to rise above that stuff and realize where it's really coming from you know like when we're hurt we're, we lash and but what needs to happen is that we need to actually come forward and be like I'm hurt by what you did I feel hurt by what you did you know and really kind of like do things with the intention of bringing healing instead of always like I want to hurt you I'm gonna get back at you I'm gonna ruin you I'm gonna because all those things you could feel that vibration and it was low 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 and also what it is too is that that stuff always is going to come back through a karmic payback so we really do have to kind of pay more attention to what is happening in our life and not going back to those snap reactions that are just I'm hurt so I'm gonna be mad at you or I'm gonna ignore you or I'm gonna cut you off or I'm done with you and and these kind of things that really end up hurting us in the long run they don't really hurt the other person they hurt us if we're feeling those things if we're doing those things if we're emotionally responding in those ways we end up having to magnetize situations that you know kind of pay that back that then people are doing that to us and um, it's just this vicious cycle and it's kind of you know where we are in the world right now with you know always having to put others you know set ourselves against others this sports team's better that place is better this person's better you know and it's this thing where we're just kind of trying to come together and more of the one love and understand we all come from situations that created these natural reactions in us but it doesn't mean we have to continue doing them it doesn't mean we have to continue the lineage baggage of repeating what everybody else has done it's really kind of like creating a new way of being now and whatever is happening in your life now especially is because of what you've been doing in most recent times so I wanted to talk about the detox um, it, ha it hit me actually on the, the day before the full moon which I was going to have everything done. I was going to have the horoscopes and the video done on that Friday. <laughs> and then I was out. But what had happened was um, I was so sick. I was throwing up all day. I don't, really, I don't do that often with migraines. I'll get nauseous and sometimes I will, but not all day. You know, there was nothing I could put in my body that wasn't just having to like shoot out like in a violent manner even. It was like, whoa, what is going on? So... You know, I've talked about that on podcasts too. Our bodies are becoming more sensitive to foods. So I've even noticed one with nuts. You know, so many nuts, I can't even eat anymore. And that was what I was putting in my body when I was sick, <laughs> when I had the bad migraine, because it was the only thing I had that was like right there and that wasn't making me sick with the thought of foods. So I was like, I'll have nuts. And then every time it was like, no, get this out of here. But, um, our bodies are changing and showing us different things that we now cannot tolerate and as we go up in vibration you know you will see that you can't eat a lot of the foods that are out there 
um, unless it's organic, definitely GMO, your body's like, no. And it's happening for a reason because basically, you know, in the world, we only change the state of how it is by our individual choices. So the only way we put McDonald's out of business and the way they treat animals is by not supporting McDonald's. You know, the way we put factory farms out of business is by not buying factory farmed meat. You know, so it's an individual choice that each one of us has and the more of us that do it, we take away the demand. You know, so it's not that hard to really change the world. It's more that we have to change all of us to really being righteous and honorable with all the choices we make. You know, you can be go the cheap route and be like, I'm just going to get this thing from China. It's $10 cheaper than this other one that is local or whatever. But you are then adding your vote to, yes, it's okay to pay these people a penny a week for slave labor. You know, you're voting for that when you do that. Everything you buy, you're voting. So we just have to become more conscious of that. And a lot of times we say, well, I don't have the money to afford these things. And, and you know, right there, that's not the correct thing to say. You know, it's more like I will find the money to buy this high vibrational stuff. I will manifest the money to buy this high vibrational healthy foods and things that are honoring and rippling out that honor vibration and um, sometimes it just means uh, you know you know spending your money in a different way maybe not buying bottled water you know um, you know getting just a five gallon thing and getting it filtered you know for 35 cents um, instead of you know, a bottle of water that's a dollar fifty, a dollar fifty, and you know, making up five gallons, you're spending like fifty bucks or something. <laughs> so right there, you've got fifty extra bucks if you get a five gallon <laughs> thing of water. So there's ways to do it, and also when you do start living this way, um, you everything starts to change in your whole life when you start voting for the high vibrational team, the organic, the non-GMO, the everything treated with honor and respect. Um, your whole life starts to change. So then you then magnetize a job that pays so much more or then because you're doing all these other things you're then able to be seen in your creative arts job you know and then you're getting all this much more business so one thing affects everything else but that first individual choice of ours is what really kind of brings in the bounty. So I had no idea I was going to talk about that. Um, so with this full moon the detox is a really big thing. So a lot of you are having really strange, like this influx of massive high vibrational energy came in and it might have knocked you out. It might have you feeling woozy. It might have you just like, whoa, I don't feel grounded. I don't feel okay. And what I noticed for me is that it wasn't until I, I actually went out on a hike with my dog and just laid on the earth for hours. It felt so good. I've done that before and it hasn't really helped. I've craved laying in the dirt whenever I have migraines. That's often what happens, but it's not like it'll shift it out but this time I laid out there for like hours and hours and <laughs> I could have stayed but you know my dog was like come on let's keep moving <laughs> and I'm like go play without me and but so um, I, uh, I finally did get up but then when I got up I was like oh my gosh it's gone and I'm someone who I get migraines and they last for a whole 24 hours they don't shift out I've actually gotten rid of maybe two or three but those were miracles and otherwise I've never been able to and I've been ridden with them my whole life I always thought it had something to do with being a forceps baby because um, I just felt like it messed up my head by you know grabbing and pronging me and pulling me out of an unconscious mother <laughs> yeah. so um, I always kind of contributed it to that so when they would last all day and stuff I was just like that's how it is but uh, I uh, this time it's like once I stood up it was gone and then I just noticed like I really felt different in my body like I really felt like I was walking different I felt like I was much more secure in my body much more comfortable in my body much more just like almost even like unaware of my body because I was so comfortable in it and I believe that's kind of part of the process that will happen to people I also noticed that I kind of looked different I kind of looked a little more fresh my hair is a little more shiny and <laughs> healthy looking but I mean I instantly was like oh my gosh like 
I feel changed. I don't feel like the same person. And I've even had this thing now where since it's happened, like I don't even like need sleep, which is crazy. Because <laughs> I'm like, even last night I was still like up at like 1 a.m. and just like, come on, who wants to be roughhousing? And, <laughs> and like, let's play. And like, it was kind of wild because I'm like, I should be tired. I spent the whole day writing horoscopes and I only got a couple hours sleep the night before but it is like something just feels different I even noticed it when I was out and about like uh, just if something felt different you know if something felt like something just felt different I don't know I can't really explain it but I hope that that's rippling out to everybody that they're noticing that something just feels a little more community something feels a little more patient with things something feels a little more like it's okay you know kind of like it's gonna work out I feel safe um, I trust this process. Um, hi, stranger. How are you? You know, kind of a, I even noticed kind of a more openness when, when I was in the store from like everybody. It wasn't just me. It was just, there was kind of a more, people had their heads up, like almost like there was an ease of heavy weighted shoulders being lifted, you know, kind of like people were just, you know, more when you're not worrying about things, how you're just like, kind of nonchalant about things and more aware of other people because it tends to be you know when we're worried about things or can't stop thinking about something that we then aren't looking up at people and we're just in our you know you know going through stores of just like da 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 and when we're more like carefree and like just got back from like a party or something and then we're like just hi and hi and mm, how are you <laughs> and you know so I felt that you know it felt like whoa this feels different and it's kind of continued to feel that way so I'm having a blast with that so do expect and I've written something um, on the fatigue or I did something on a podcast on the fatigue we talked about the detox um, some I talked about listening to your dreams more documenting your dreams more because there's all these messages that are coming through that are trying to more align you to the correct path to making the right decisions to heeding warnings that you're feeling with people because um, one of the big things that's happening with this particular full moon which I just love but it's really activating our inner guidance system it's really activating our owl is what I was saying so it's like you're really, you know, we, we always are feeling the signals from people. We always, you know, feel these things, but they tend to come with this like, no, I'm really nice. You can trust me facade because people who do these kind of things, they don't want to be clear about it. You know, maybe they're envious of you. Maybe they want to be you. Maybe they um, want you to fail, really. Um, but they'll like hold a smiley face and be like, oh, I'm so your friend and da da da. And we all know this one. But inside, you'll still get these signs that are like, I don't trust that person. Something is not right here. But we always then say, well, I'm just reading into something. And look at how nice this person is to me. You know, I'm not reading this right. And, you know, that's what gets a lot of people in danger. Um, in dangerous situations with people because like you know p when people do want to lure you in or to take advantage of you they're gonna come off as really nice I mean look at politicians <laughs> you know but anyway but uh, lawyers and you know it's like there's always this kind of front of like no you can trust me I'm on your side but inside there's these calculations and all this thinking and like um, um, you know that kind of thing but you know I, I know that there's this book I'm reading right now called the gift of fear and it's about these people you know sharing these stories of how you know they came into a dangerous situation where they were kidnapped or raped or hurt and you know once they like are working with this counselor they're really looking back and like I did suspect that person's voice from the get-go I I was queasy about that person I was nervous about that person but we always say the same thing of oh but I didn't want to believe into that I I wanted to be like oh you're just reading into this you're being too sensitive and what this uh, 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 what this uh, full moon is doing right now is really saying no you follow that and you don't question it one percent if you're feeling something about someone it's the truth there's something beneath the surface that's being hidden and you need to move away from them separate from them get out of that person's space um, disconnect from them and we're really having a really big strength in that too of being like no 
I don't feel good about this person. I always tell you too, if you are milling over someone when you're away from them, like you just can't get them off their mind or something in your belly is like, I just don't feel good about this. You know, everybody, you know, I, I hear a lot of people come to me and they'll be like, you know, for a reading and they'll be like, this other person, you know, everybody loves this other person, but I just don't trust that person. I don't, you know, feel, I, I you know, and, and then they're having this thing where they can't get them off their mind and they keep coming up and I'm always like, step away from that person. There's absolutely something there going on. That person has an issue with you. That person is festering um, envy with you. That person wants to be you, which I've had a lot of things with readings like that where it's just, they want to be you. So they, you know, they'll want to be close to you to absorb everything you're doing and absorb your energy and your vibration, but there's still an inner truth to that person that they don't really love you. They don't really, um, it's more of a negative draining energy thing. So if you are feeling something outside of being around them or outside of connecting them where you can't get them off your mind, get rid of them. And this is where I'm like, forget all that spiritual woo-woo stuff that says you have to love everybody because you do not have to love everybody. You, you, you have to love the, the knowing that that's a, that was a little girl at one time, that was a little boy at one time, and something happened and now they've manifested into this other thing and have their own issues to work on. Um, so you do have to love that part of them, but you don't have to take them into your life even when you're feeling sketchy about them. Let them go. Make the space for it. You will notice every time that you do that you'll instantly feel this energetic clearing. Like once you say, hey, I can't be involved in this. I can't have you in my life. I can't, you know, we need some time, whatever. You'll notice... Um, an instant clearing and that's your sign of your guides and your body signals saying yes you made the right choice but we tend to have our mind come into it oh I feel bad now should I have just overlooked this should I have just you know let it go and tried to make it work no what is your body telling you? Does it feel like home? Does it feel so comfortable? Do you not even question anything because it feels so like this is so natural for me. I trust this person. This is home, you know. If it feels like that, yes, take on as much as you can of it and that person. But if you have those sketchy feelings, you have to trust them. And this energy right now is showing you that more than anything in the world. So it's big. It's strong. You'll feel sick around certain people. You can feel sick at seeing their name. You can feel sick at their reactions to you. And we really just have to honor that and know, you know, they have something that is working against you. There's something with them that is not really on your team. And it's not to say it will always be that way. You might co go down the line a little bit of time and be like, oh my gosh, I don't feel that way about that person anymore. And that means they've worked on some, one of their issues that is actually sending negative daggers to you with a smile on their face, um, really wanting something from you. It's not like a genuine love or genuine friendship. So. Um, you know, how I all, I'm always like, don't sever everything, you know, don't just be like, I hate you, you're horrible, get out of my life. Like, that's not really how you deal with it. It's, um, it's also still making the space that later in life, maybe there will be more harmony. You know, maybe later in life, you'll be like, oh, this person actually feels a lot like home. And then you'll know to take them in your life. But as for now, nobody you're not allowed to have anybody in your life who drains your energy, who makes you feel not good enough, and who just gives you these body signals that you're like, I don't, you know, and you know what that is when you feel like move away from someone, you know. If we're walking down the street, we can feel that with people. And, um, and, um, gosh, I remember I had this one when I was in San Francisco. I just remembered this. I was with a friend who was visiting me there. And we were in the we were in Alamo Square, and this guy who is so unstable, and you can tell his energy. He was walking towards us, and you can see he was unstable. And um, and I was every trigger in my body lit up. It was like something's wrong, something's wrong, something's wrong. And I remember my friend was visiting, so he's all like, "Oh, it's so beautiful!" <laughs> like not even noticing this guy, and I'm like. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I like, I didn't even know what to do. I was like, this is danger, this is danger. And then 
right before he got up to us he had a knife and he had it on he put it up on his head like this and was walking and I was just like oh my god oh because I couldn't even move it was like I couldn't and my friends just like oh this is gorgeous I just am having so much fun <laughs> I'm like <sighs> I remember I couldn't even breathe and stuff, but he then walked off and I was like, oh my God, let's get out of here. But it was, um, we have these things that, I mean, we were so lucky that he didn't just like start lashing at us. It just felt like that energy, maybe even my friend being so aloof <laughs> to what was going on, like, you know, um, made him not do anything. But it was so scary. And it was also scary because I couldn't move, you know, and that's where we have to like um, honor these signals and like, like I should have moved away. I mean, fortunately it worked out great. You know, nothing happened, but um, my body signals were so strong. You know, it was like, this is danger. I mean, it was, I knew, I heard danger before, while he was still down the hill walking up towards us. So, uh, I mean, I spotted him right away. It was like, oh my gosh, this is not safe. So, you know, our, our bodies are going to get really strong right now, whether it's food, whether it's people, jobs, <laughs> you're going to be miserable if you're not in a job that's honoring and it's really just about being in a job that's honoring it doesn't we don't really have to say that um, oh I'm working in this cafe this is so beneath me no that's not a beneath you job at all it's only beneath you if you're not being honored you know you really just have to find jobs where they're happy to have you there you know they, they, they see that you have great gifts they see that you're contributing to the business we don't need to so much gauge what the job is because so many of the jobs that we have are leading up to other jobs in our life they're giving us skills that lead to other jobs so any of the you know, naming and blaming a job as like this is beneath me is a wrong way to look at it because it's really not. Uh, there's skills that we have to learn with each job um, and it's more just about being honored. So if you are feeling sick in your stomach, I wouldn't look at it so much as like, oh my gosh, I have to work for myself now. I, you know, I can't work for other people. You know, that may be the case, but we also really do have specific gate openings on our journey that allow us to, okay, now you are at a place to work for yourself and make a living from this, you know, and like you know about me, it took 14 years for that to happen, you know, so I know that sometimes it's a specific journey, just because we all want to be doing it right now doesn't mean we really have the confidence for it, because that was really something that finally birthed in me was a really strong confidence, like, I'm ready to be seen, I'm ready to share my message, I can do this, and I didn't really have that confidence before. I didn't have a confidence in what my thing was, how to get it out, how to do it, so confidence is a big factor. So if you don't have the confidence, it really may not be time yet, and that's okay. There's no rush. We don't all need to do this at once, you know. Anyway, even that, I'm like, where did I start talking on that for? So with this full moon, you know, what's really happening, the, the ultimate thing is that we're also getting very serious with um, not listening to anybody else with our decisions, you know, not following the path of anybody else, not, unless it feels great in our body, you know, because right now what's going to happen is that your body's going to be like, no, that's full of crap, that is, that does not vibrate with me, that does not resonate with me. Um, and, and kind of really almost bringing this honoriness in us of like, no, like I noticed it yesterday where I was like, huh, uh, like I'm not taking crap from anybody. Like, just like, if that doesn't feel good to me, gone, done with it. I'm not even going to question it. I'm not going to make myself smaller. I'm just going to be like, this is right. This is wrong. This is right. This feels good. That feels bad. You know, and we're being asked to really drive our life in that way. Does this feel good? Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. It. Does that feel uh, not so great? Move away from it, you know, but also really kind of uh, going back into our past and seeing where we've been told you can't make a living doing that. You're not good enough for that. You're not skilled enough for that. Um, you know, kind of like what I always say is I feel like we're certified by God with our gifts. We don't really have to go out and do these step by step things you know, there is the point that maybe it'll make you feel confident to do it, but you don't have to do that stuff. If like, if someone's sharing this, they learned it in the same ways that you can. So you're going to have that stuff of who says I have to go get this certification? Who says I have to go get this degree? Who says I have to go do that to do what I want to do when I'm just good at it? 
you know and um, so that's going to be one of the things that's moving you forward and it's a lot of just almost like grumpy energy in a way of no I'm not going to take that anymore no I'm not going to be friends with that person anymore no I'm not going to be around that group anymore I don't feel good around them they set my energy you know or whatever comes through you it's going to be this really strong proud energy that makes you done with it done enough is enough I'm not gonna do that anymore I'm not just gonna follow because everybody tells me that's what you have to do I'm not just gonna follow this path of you know people going well you'll you, you'll 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 discover that that's what's gonna happen when you follow this path just watch you know and it's like who cares then I'm gonna I'm gonna walk it and discover that on my own then I'm not gonna follow it just because you're telling me so it's it's an ornery energy in us it can have us being like who who are you to tell me what I need to do you know you're just gonna you're just it's just gonna come out of you so be cool with that other people will do it to you too, so just be cool with it. It's just really like, you know, almost making us mad in a way in order to, you know, really get us to go inside and see what our bodies tell us we should do. You know, and maybe they're right. Maybe you will get down that road and be like, oh, that didn't work, but so well, that so what? That's life. You know, we always have choice in things. We can be like, oh, you know, I thought this path was the right one, but now I can see it doesn't really feel so right. So I'm going to make a left now and go try out this other thing. You know, so we can always change. We can always go back. We can go forward. We can go back. We can go right. We can go left. You know, just because you get down to a path and it doesn't work out doesn't mean it was the wrong path. You learned something. You know, it may be that you had to go down that path to discover, oh, it's great that I took this path. It's not going to work for me. But because I took this path, these other experiences happened that now showed me that from here, I'm going to go over here. You know, and even like as an example, I'll bring this up now is um, I'm launching the new Life Collective on the 16th. So on the, this Saturday, the new space is going to be opening and I've had one for a year now called the Love Collective. And you know what happened with that is I, I, w I always knew I was going to be creating this space like for over a decade. I already like put it all together, you know, what was going to happen, this was here, that was that, it was going to be like this. And I finally got the opportunity to do it last year. And the moment I did it, though, I was like, something's not right. You know, I don't like this platform. I don't like these colors. I don't like the layout things. I don't, there was all these things that I didn't like, but I tried to make it work. Because I was like, well, I created it. I walked down this path. So I'm just going to deal with what I have to deal with and try to make it work because I'm here and I'm doing it now. I can't just run. So it just never felt good, never felt good. And then I would notice that I even felt like my energy would drain when I would go to it. And I was like, uh, what a drag. So at that point, I finally was like, okay, you know what? I need to put it to the side, forget about it, not think about it, not try to fix it, and then see what I could do to kind of open to inspiration eventually coming. And then, you know, like a month or so ago, the inspiration finally came and, and it was like then I saw all these ways to redo it. But I would not have been able to come up with the inspiration and all these new ways had I not walked that way in addition. So it wasn't a mistake. I had to walk that to learn that, oh, actually, I need this and I need that and this doesn't offer that and I need that and this doesn't offer that. So I didn't know that I needed these other things until I got into this situation situation that was like this is not everything I need this is like two percent you know I need a hundred baby you know so you know then through this whole process then I've been able to create this whole new thing now that is so amazing and I'm so stoked and that's kind of partly why I can't ever sleep anymore now because I'm like ideas 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 and this person and all these people come to me and I'm like I want you to be a writer I want you to be a writer so basically I'll tell you a little bit about it now and I'm going to do a whole video on it, but it's it's um, it's going to basically be like a Facebook and a YouTube, but for high vibrational people. So it's a private group. It's closed. We can do whatever we want in there. You know, we can have as long as it's on the love vibration, though, that's my only rule. It, it can't be disgusting and nasty and, you know, you'll be out of there in no time. There won't be any fighting there won't be any dishonoring um, it's only going to be love and supportive and nurturing but it's also going to be completely open playground for all of us and I have I'm going to have 
13 riders total, because that's what the guide said, they want 13 riders that are our main riders who are sharing information. And it's only, you know, it's not really spiritual talk. I kind of feel like that's played out in the world. Um, but it's how-tos, it's reviews, it's how to make things, how to grow things, how to really put us into a sustainable new earth state. You know, how to live if we don't have all these things. Um, hi, Maya. <laughs> Moon Bear's best friend just walked in. Um, you know, how to... Um, create all these things, um, community things. Um, it's just going to be a whole huge platform of awesomeness, you know, and, and everything to align us to the new earth ways. And then there's also where you all can share your blogs too, because I always want to be looking for, <laughs> I always want to be looking for other people to share on our main magazine blog. So it's just going to be where every day you're going to have this feed that you're going to want to read every article. You're going to want to watch every video. You can share your own videos. You can share your own music. Um, there's just like YouTube, so it's a rating system. It's comments. Um, a really great search bar so that you can always have that. And like that's what I wrote in the horoscopes. One of the, one of the main reasons I wanted to create this is because I need all the information put together. And I'll hear something and I'll be like, oh, that's so great. I have to remember that baking soda remedy. And then I finally need it in life. And I'm like, where was that? What was that? What were the details of it again? I can't even remember. And so here it'll all be there. It'll be, it's what I was calling it too, is it's like a high vibrational guidebook to living. So it's going to be all the information you need to be healthier, to get in shape. I'm going to have fitness people, um, um, nutritional stuff, healing stuff, dream interpretation, so that you can really kind of start, you know, with that one, um, really start understanding the messages that are coming to you that you're just not even putting importance on, but they are. They're trying to reach you. They're like, follow this path, follow this path. You know, I'm, I'm speaking to you in my dreams. So, you know, dream interpretation, reviews on music, movies, books, you know, so it's, it's going to be so much fun. I'm really like stoked beyond belief. And, I'm going to finally be able to integrate the huge donation program that I've wanted to have. So um, we're going to see where money is going out. Um, we're going to get to vote on where it goes out. So like if there's something in your town that, you know, this, this animal shelter, you know, needs $500 to stay alive and da-da-da, and we can be like, boom, here you go, you know. And, and there's also, too, going to be a lottery service. So there's going to be money that's even going back to the people every month. So I'm so excited about that. It's like all these things I wrote out. I was, and there's, there's one person actually that I told all this stuff to, maybe two. And um, back in like, you know, I guess that was, this kind of stuff came up after Katrina because I got inspired to find a way to make money to do donations without the red tape. Um, because I was so upset with Katrina, how it took so long to get money to help these people. And, um, and with us, we'd be able to send it out right then and there. We would even have people that we could reach and be like, get to New Orleans. We need help. We need water. We need food. We need stuff for the animals. You know, so not only am I creating a space where we're going to be sharing all this high vibrational information and only for us, you know, um, but also we'll be able to get people together because you can search who lives in what areas. You can find people who live around you. You can find people who live where you want to live. So maybe you can hook up with them and say, what about that? But we can also, like with Katrina, if we already had this going, we would be able to reach people that were down by that area and be like, get out there now. So it's also going to be something that, as I kind of see, is going to start our own revolution and putting people together and making things happen and talking about, hey, we need people to stand up for this we need da, da 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 so I'm so excited for it it's like this is my calling like that's my real calling like I always kind of wonder a lot of times why I'm in astrology because I'm so not interested in anything astrology based like I hear astrology and I go ugh. but I think it's also because when you're truly speaking through a guide and when you're truly speaking this um, 
this unique thing, you don't want to listen to what other people are saying because you're always going to mimic what they're saying. It's, it's a natural byproduct. Like you hear them say that this is what that means, then you're going to say this is what that means. And you're not going to have the same energetic draw that brings people in when you're really just saying what's coming from your guides and you're really just saying what's come streaming into your body. So, um, but I still am always like, why am I in this subject that I really don't have a big interest in? But I think it's because I'm someone who's supposed to speak it through channeled information and not through the study of it, not through something that's down here, something that's up here, you know? And I think that's what makes it kind of cool, you know? But my true passion is putting together all the high vibrational folk and creating change out in this world and educating them on what they need to use what kind of deodorant you want so that you don't get breast cancer you know all these kind of things we're gonna go through all these things all these products you need to use that have you heard about this so you're always gonna be like oh my gosh oh my god oh you're, you're, you might even be like oh my god I don't have money to buy all these things but that's okay you know when you're in that vibration you end up manifesting the money for it but um, there's, I'm also making the option for where you can just join for a month for two bucks. So if you're like, I don't know, I don't know if I really want to do this, um, you can just come in for a month, see if you like it, if you don't, get out, you know? <laughs> but I have a feeling you're going to love it because we really need to come together with our peoples and um, start you know, sharing this information. We need all the farming information, all the gardening information, all the stuff, how to make this stuff because you know, how, how to collect our water, how to purify our water, um, because we're going to need these skills and who knows how long we'll have internet. We don't know what's in our future. I mean, 20 years ago, we didn't know there would be an internet, you know. Um, we were living, we didn't have reality TV. We had real life, you know. We had reality, you know. Um, so it, it's good for us to learn these skills, first aid things. I'm going to be bringing a lot of things that relate to uh, kind of natural pet care because I've I've just I just have this ability to bring through information that you know I had my burst my dog's tumor um, got him got her out of surgery I'm right now working on stomatitis on my cat which they say you only can pull all their teeth it's the only maybe solution but they're really just gonna it's this autoimmune thing and. I'm bringing that boy back to life. I mean, it's like I just came up with these things. And also I have a whole group of people who can also offer these amazing tools because one of my friends was like, oh, you need to use this, try this, try that. And I'm like, oh, yeah. And so with me, I've always wanted to share this information. But right now I'm just accepting my life is so busy. I don't have time to compile all this uh, information. So that's why I was like, I have all these writers though, and I've picked them with people with business coaching, you know, health coaching, um, recipes, foods, how to make things. So I'm having them all bring their skills forward. So we'll have a whole group of people to share and then you guys will have stuff too. So we'll be promoting you too. So I'm so excited about that. And it's going to be launching Saturday. There's still so much to do. Um, but um, so that's going to be a big home for you guys. Trust me, you're going to be like, I love the Life Collective. <laughs> I'm already like, like, and I didn't say this with the Love Collective. It was really funny because that was something too. I didn't really have the full on confidence of it. I had these visions of it. I'm like, okay, it'll be like this. But if you've heard me, I, I never talked about it after I first launched it. I never had ads about it. I mean, I kind of have one on the Aquarius Nation blog, but I've never put any energy into it after I first started it because it never felt right so I didn't feel good about bringing people but now I'm like oh yeah life collective this is it this is what you've been waiting for and this is the tools that you need to be living in the new earth way a relationship coaching I have someone who's gonna do like a relationship column <laughs> I was telling her I wanted to do it with her well do you like these like video things and I'll be like no I don't think he should do that and she'll be like no he needs to do that <laughs> or whatever so it's gonna be fun it's gonna be straight up fun and educational and where you'll read the whole feed and then you'll also feel good about it <laughs> so it's a winner. So you know what? I think I'm going to stop there because I wrote such good written horoscopes that I want you to go read those. And um, these are exciting times. And just be, be, 
you know, lay low, get on the earth. Um, if you do have the migraine, the sick, the dizzy, and just kind of know that it is an energy kind of coming in that is a little ahead of the times for your body. So it's having, having to break through blocks, um, um, bad habits, awakening you to bad habits, showing you clearly that this is something you want to follow, this is something you want to let go of, and just know people will fall away, places will fall away, thought patterns will fall away, a lot will fall away, but it's okay. Um, you're looking for your specific tribe, you know, your soul group, and, and you know, even like the Love Collective will have several soul groups of people, but there will still be specific ones that you will totally bond with. There will be specific writers that you will totally bond with. Um, and that's what we're just, we don't have to be all on the same thing, but um, we do need to be with our soul group. And that's the one where we're going to be like, I feel like home with you. I feel like I can trust you. I love you. Like you can just know it right away. You're like, I love you. I just feel love for you. I don't know why. I don't know you. And, but that's what you're going for. And the other ones are like, I don't know. My body just says. And now you're going to learn to honor that. You know, you're going to learn to be like, there's a reason for that. I don't need to understand it. I don't need to use my mind to try to pull me back into changing my opinion on this. Follow through with whatever's coming through about yeses or nos and leave it at that. You don't have time to question it. We've got too much work to do. You know, we've got a whole slew of people who are not awake at all to the high vibrational ways. And we've got to get more people on board. Um, so that they have happiness in their life. You know, it's almost like something feeds off of, there's these other world things that feed off of, and I actually started seeing them on people. It was kind of freaky. Um, I don't buy into it, so I don't put energy into it, but I would see things that would like feed off of people's negative energy or unhappiness or depression. And it's things around you, like they, they, they love that. They, 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 they go stronger the more people feel like that. So it's important that we're just like, I'm happy. I enjoy my life. I feel good no matter what's going on. I trust this process. And um, that's what we're working on right now. And that's what the Life Collective will be about too, being this place that helps you see it's okay. We're all in this together, you know, and, and we can do something, you know. So, okay, I'm going to leave it at that. So, uh, okay, so you have yourself a beautiful after full moon, <laughs> since I'm late. I know people are always like, you need to, you're never going to get enough likes on your um, videos because everybody else puts them out like a month or a month and a half in advance. And I'm kind of like, well, you know, I guess I could do that, but I guess I'm not really into it for the likes. You know, I guess I'm not really, that's one reason I don't. Yeah, something about YouTube, I never like YouTube. Like, it drains my energy every time I go to it. I've been trying to get off of YouTube. That's why this new Life Collective, we get to have our own YouTube <laughs> with just us <laughs> and just really cool videos. Um, but, yeah, I'm not really interested in that. And I, I, um, I always kind of feel like I will attract the right people, you know. I will they find me and that makes me happy enough. I'd rather just not have a whole bunch of numbers that don't really bond with me or love with me or, you know, really feel like what I want you to feel when you're around me, you know? So, uh, I wish I could be a month and a half in advance, <laughs> but dude, instead I'm a day after or I'm the day of, <laughs> but oh well, you know, at least I'm doing it. You know, I don't, yeah, I don't need to do that other way of having it out there for so long. So it really gets high numbers. I can I attract the correct people and that's enough for me so okay all right so my loves I'll see you soon um, and I'll be putting out another video on the life collective to give more details because there's so, I want to break down it's I'm very transparent about how it's gonna work and what this is gonna ha how this is gonna flow so I wanna put another video on that um, and then start kind of getting the ads out uh, real soon <laughs> everything's like last minute with me but it's like you know you're gonna jump why do I have to warn you for weeks in advance you'll jump when I say okay gates open come on so um, that's probably what I'll be doing I'll send you an email if you're on my mailing list okay gates open come <laughs> sorry you didn't get any forewarning <laughs> all right my loves you have a beautiful day and I will see you with the next new moon which is going to be in Virgo um, which is where my moon is, so I'm right at home there. 
Okay, loves, I'll see you soon. Have a beautiful day and keep checking out my podcasts. They're so much fun. I'm really having a blast doing them. It's kind of just like this, but you don't get to see me. But uh, yeah, anyway, I give you everything here. You know, you get written, you get podcasts, you get YouTubes, and now you're going to get a whole show <laughs> in a way. Um, okay, yeah.